Greetings, some chappers. And I am Captain Anderton. Oh, we already shot this video once. We did, and forgot to press the record button. So, so we shoot it again because we we're professional. <laughs> but we don't mind because this product is so absolutely yes. mind blowing. If you incredible. had to do a video twice, it would be for an amp like this. Yes. Tell us about it, Lee. Okay. So this is the highly anticipated Boogie Mark 525, which is kind of like a mini monster Frankenstein of all the cool boogie goodness of yesteryear and today. I've just knocked Rabir's microphone. That's fine. That's fine. He likes that. Um, and it's a cracking little, very portable, very small amplifier um, that I think is going to be an absolutely classic amp for boogie. So Let's show them how small it is. Here's my hand. And here's my hand. It's two hands. It's two hands. Mm. Uh, some people refer to me as Lee Two Hands Anderton. <laughs> um, but, uh, is that because you've got two hands? <laughs> yes, because I've got two hands. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> um, and it weighs about 16 pounds, which is kind of a, it's like it's about the same as 16 pounds. Really? Yeah, it's about 50% heavier a than pound, a guitar. It's 16 um, times heavier than one of those. So, right, here's the nutshell. I'll, I'll try and whiz through it. And we're gonna, you, you'll hear some elongated playing of different guitars and stuff. And we'll also do some little sound bites of each feature. Uh, but in a nutshell, it's a two channel amplifier. Lovely and simple. Where's my foot switch? Um, it's really cute. You basically, you change your channel using this button and it's got a five band graphic EQ over here that again, you can either do from the foot switch or just make it channel assignable. I'll talk about that in a minute. Each channel has three modes. Clean channel has a clean and a fat mode, which have been lifted straight off of the um, Mark V, and it has a crunch voice. So essentially, you don't actually need to have this as a, as a standard sort of clean and dirty amp. You can have sort of dirty and dirtier. Um, the second channel has three voicings on it. One lifted from the, the Mark II C Plus, yeah, which was which was Boogie's first ever sort of dual cascading two channel amplifier, allegedly. I read that on the internet. Um, it has a Mark IV mode, which is slightly more modern. How old's Mark IV now? Seven, eight years old, something like that. I'm going to agree with you. Um, and then it has an extreme mode, which I think is lifted from the Mark V. Is on the Line 6? Not modelled on a Line 6 oh. extreme mode. Would be good if it was, though, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely um, incredible. It is a, it is a, a dual output <clears> amplifier. <throat> so it's 25 watts or 10 watts using two EL84s and six 12AX7s in the preamp. Um, we should stress how incredibly loud it is. Yes. This is not a bring it back to your flat and jam at home kind of amp. It's not. This that is amp. a gigging kind of amp. Amplifier. Um, it has a separate reverb for each channel, a tube buffered effects loop, uh, and very cleverly, a built in sort of cut down version of the cab clone, which, if you are uh, unfamiliar with that, that's a sort of a DI sort of uh, recording output from here, which, of course, if you were going to use this at home, you could pop into a, a desk. You then don't need a speaker cabinet connected, and you could just listen to headphones off of your desk. You know, the only bell and whistle I think they've got missing is a bell is and, a, and, a, and a, whistle, a whistle. And a whistle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are running this through um, uh, what's called the teal. I never know how you pronounce teal. It's spelled T-H-I-E-L-E. -E. Teal, teal. Anyway, it's basically like a wide-bodied, 1 by 12 open back cabinet with a black shadow speaker in it. So it's a kind of Fender-esque cabinet. Um, you can, of course, run this with any cabinet that you like. Um, Boogie, for a change, have not decided to release a whole new range of cabinets for the um, 525 range. which is they have a veritable yeah, cornucopia of cabinets they, that one could use already? They have done in the past. You know, typically you've got you know rectifier cabs and stiletto cabs and mark cabinets and all this kind of stuff. So quite actually, I'm quite pleased as a retailer that they are sort of going, there isn't another whole big line of cabinets. So what they're basically saying is just choose a cabinet from the existing range that you like the look of it. They all match up nicely. But of course, you, know, you could do anything from a 412 to an even smaller 1x12 if you wanted to give you the portability and, and the sort of tone that you want. If you go closed back, expect to get a bit more sort of perhaps projection on the base end. Uh, open back is a sort of an area. Area is that I one? just I love the closed back, open back. 
th those two <laughs> things could be used to describe so many, many things. Many different today. things that shouldn't um, be in this video. <laughs> So we will literally whiz through um, sort of like 20 second sort of clips of each tone, uh, starting with the joyous clean channel that is the clean channel in clean mode. Lovely, it's clean. Lovely and clean. Fendery. I'm using it in the 25 watt mode. I could switch it to the 10 watt mode, which I will do later. And nicely, uh, Boogie do this on a few products now. Uh, you can actually elect to have the gain channel set to one particular output, like 10 watts if you want, and the uh, clean channel set to a different output. So, if, uh, uh, for um, headroom reasons. That's yeah, I mean, <sighs> typically, uh, I'll come to that a bit later and we'll show you the difference in the tone. So, this next uh, tone or voicing is called Fat named after a bottomed girl in a Queen song. <laughs> Here's a nice feature. Um, we did a wonderful, I say we, I did with Peter from Mesa Boogie, did a wonderful video earlier this year of the uh, Carlos Santana Snake King um, little combo that was a sort of a throwback to some of the combos he He's used the end of the level boss days. from the new, uh, new computer game from PlayStation. What? Snake Carlos King. Santana? Oh, Snake King. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. And, and uh, Carlos Santana, I get you with my woman tone. Who you got? What is it? Oh, you get to, oh, you get to, oh, you get to, baby. <laughs> oh, Have you seen the new Mortal Kombat trailer? No. Oh, man. This is who, better already. The who is excited now. about the new Mortal Kombat game? It looks amazing. So Sorry, the, carry on. So the mid control on this channel, uh, up until 12 o'clock, acts like a normal mid boost, a normal mid control would. However, once you go past 12 o'clock, you begin to move into an interlinked kind of thing where the gain and the mid booth, booth are both increased as you turn this up. So you're into that sort of classic kind oh, of... Or like your Strat does with the mid booth circuitry. Almost exactly like that. In uh, fact, probably entirely exactly like that. Dis, isn't it? So this might get a bit loud, so I'll just compensate. Oh but if you now play that same thing, you'll notice you've got all this sort of mid rangey to almost gainy kind of tone. Okay. So that's for your, and that'll work again on the crunch tone as well. So that's for your sort of like infinite sustain kind of yeah. great with a Les Paul. Bit of BB King. Um, let's talk about the EQ whilst no, uh, yeah, let's talk about the EQ while we're here. So I like this feature. On it's Boogie an EQ. Amplifiers. You have a um, essentially three settings per channel for how you want the EQ to work. So you can basically say for the each channel, I always want the EQ on, I always want the EQ off, 
or I want the EQ assigned to the foot switch so I can just literally stomp it on and off as I want to. Um, and the EQ will allow you to, 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 to add some either some fine tuning to your sort of tone shape. So if you like, a, if you want to try and, I don't know, get a slightly more fender shimmery kind of clean tone, you think, well, I want a bit more bass end, take a bit of mid range out, whatever. You can do that like this. <laughs> So um, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the EQ now and how you might use that. So what we've got is uh, you might want to use the EQ to sort of fine tune your tone. So what I've done here is I've taken a bit of the mid range out, boosted the bass end and the treble. So I'm trying to get that real big fender shimmery kind of tone. So this is what it sounds like uh, without the EQ and I'll just flip it on. When you see this little orange light come on, uh, you'll know that, that I've switched it on. Okay, so. That's really pleasant. Yeah. Or you might say, do you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of a kind of a, I've got a little bit of a lead lick to do, or, you know, not a gainy one, but I just want a little bit more punch on my, on my clean tone. So if I just, you know, dial in a, a perhaps a more mid rangey tone and we'll do the same thing again, like a this. And as I said, you can do that with the foot switch here. Kind of negates, I guess, the need to perhaps some have a sort of a, an EQ on your board. Mm. Uh, crunch tone. Yay. 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 Sounds great. That's what it? it's made and for. So, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to just switch between the 25 and the 10 watt mode. So you'll see the 25 has the bass end and the sort of dynamics. The 10 watt mode is a bit more sort of squeezed in and compressed. Rob, I prefer the 25 watt mode. Rob was saying he actually prefers the 10 watt mode. Yeah, man. But do that's it. The beauty of this world we live in. I'm just signaling. Okay. <laughs> It's on the brink of tonal magic, but wants more volume to make that tonal magic well, occur. You can see we are right down at the sort of a, not as low as this would go, but pretty low. We're certainly not driving this hard in here, but it's loud, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so that's your clean channel or channel one, whatever you want to call it. Channel two, uh, we shall start with the tone from uh, the Mark II C Plus, which, as I said before, was was um, Mesa Boogie's first two channel dual cascading gain nice. amplifier. That sounds good. <laughs> Sounds mental. Yeah. Um, the second mode is Mark IV, so that's uh, from, from the Mark IV amp, which, is, which was, I guess, the first amp that I think where Boogie started moving into what you might call a modern territory, but anyway, here we go. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
as fatness that's the um, big sound so is that more game that we now have the extreme mode and what i'm going to use in the extreme mode as well i'm going to switch the eq in and actually play if you like whilst rob's playing so i'll try and get some more shreddy rhythmy tones <laughs> channel's called Extreme, and Extreme were a band from the 80s that uh, had a particularly good guitar player in it. Yeah. Nuno Tennis Court. Bruno Nettencourt. Bruno didn't have him. Bruno Tennis Court. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't we know a guy that does that really well? I thought we did. <laughs> That's great. If I put you on the clean channel, can you play more than words? <laughs> is it costly okay cost is a good one with Mesa Boogie because um, these amps are built in America and uh, I'll have a slightly different kind of price point in America so so yes you lucky people that live on the other side of the pond where it's warm um, are probably finding that this amplifier is uh, extremely competitively priced <laughs> Once it's shipped over to the UK and it adds on a layer of distribution and servicing and stuff like that costs. Plus also as well, they actually make these for the UK with a completely unique transformer. So there's a bit of extra cost there. Um, this is going to be uh, kind of equitable 1, to... 1,200 quid. It's a bit more than that. It's about just under 1,400 pounds without the cab. So it's kind of... Um, what's that comparable to? It's just going to end up basically... My being, Volvo? Uh, about 20, you know, it's like 20, 25% more expensive than, say, a, a, a Marshall that might be made in the UK. But I guess that's how it's always been with Boogie. So, and, and actually, if it makes you feel any better, uh, if you flip it around the other way and you live in America, Marshall stuff's a lot more expensive. So it's, it's kind of, it's not like a unique thing to Boogie. It's just, that's how it is. It's the way it is in the world. Um, 
But I still think, to be honest with you, you know, this is a handmade amplifier from California with a ton of features in it, uh, in a really, really kind of fashionable, portable sort of size. Can be used with some, like we've got here, a really compact cabinet. The cabs uh, have actually recently come down in price in Europe, so actually you should check out some boogie cabinets because they are a bit more competitive than perhaps they were a year or so ago. Um, it includes the foot switch, it includes a nice cover, um, and, and of course, in Andertons, one of the things that we do a ton of in Andertons is interest free credit. Uh, so Forget about how much this amp might cost you in one go. Just think about how much it might cost you as a small monthly payment. Um, what else is there to tell you about this? Not a lot. I don't Not think. a lot, really. I mean, it's it's a fantastic solution to yeah. lots of different kinds of tonal requirement. Yeah. It's an easy size to carry around. You can stick it in an airplane overhanger. It's, overhanger? Uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Uh, overhead locker. Overhead locker. That's yeah. the thing. Which brings me back to the point that I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. Greetings.